Run, said. Texas for Luger's Day. Roger, back here. Not a second to regroup. Everything's out of whack. Not sure we'll get it back. Sensing strangers turn away. Aware that things are not okay. The knowledge comes with some despair. That we're the ones who aren't all there. You tell us to snap out of it like this is just some kind of fit. You say our symptoms are our choices. Yeah, go and tell it to the voices. Lacking in the social graces. Cannot seem to find our places. Straddling the borderline. Not too easy to define. We hawking down in our, in our space. Hold up for the human race. And we, if we had done somewhere, we'd be careful to not to leave a trace. Oh, the places we have shivered down where hope is not delivered. Underneath the broken skin where friends and lovers can't get in. Mostly anxious, often leery, quoting from conspiracy theory. We see things you cannot see, like varying shades of hypocrisy. Are you ready? OK. Up and down with mood disorders, locked inside by unchecked borders. First we're low, then we're high. That's why we take a Abilify! Go mood swings! We picket scabs and cut our wrists. We beat up walls with bloody fists. We shun the sunlight for the rain and do it all to mask the pain. Emotional contusions brings out strange delusion, which after okay. Here we are. You can't ignore us. Come on, guys. It's, it's time you listen to our chorus. Your acceptance sets us free. The purpose of the IBT.
Hello, welcome to Humanity Matters. I'm your co-host, Chris Weiss, and now I introduce you to Albert Turcaso. <laughs> well, thank you, Chris. Um, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, well, actually, this is, today is the IVT, the Invisible Village Theater. We also have some other business to do now, as usual. We're not going to have enough time to do what we got to do, so we're going to start doing it as quickly as we can. But I got to read my freaking papers. So, you know how it goes. All right, let's see. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. I just want to quickly say that over the past month, we lost a very, very good friend and a local Pittsburgh hero, one. Lois Flo Rice, who was a board member, a producer, and a person who fostered and helped to save the lives of more than 200 children over the years. She was also a businesswoman, and she was very charismatic. If you think I'm wild, Flo and I made a good team. Uh, I was on her show a couple of times. She was on my show. So all I can say is that... Um, Flo Rice is in heaven now, but I got one other thing to do. Now, you may not like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Here we go, Flo Rice. Here we go. Here we go, Flo Rice. Here we go. That's right. Flo deserved cheering because she was like no other person you would ever have met. The fact that this woman single-handedly, without a significant other, raised over two. 200, 200 children 